In this video, I will show you how to use the Python library Excel Wings to add a very basic and bare bones line chart to an Excel workbook. On the right, you can see the testing document that we will be working with. There is a small table capturing the temperature over a period of days of the week. This data I will be displaying in a line chart. Here you can see that I've opened up the workbook on the right with the book function and selected sheet one, which is the one being displayed. I start by adding a line chart to the worksheet and assigning that chart the chart variable. Each worksheet object in Excel Wings has a charts attribute that has an add function. The first two arguments that you can pass the function indicate where the chart will be located on your sheet. The documentation for Excel Wings states that these need to be integers and measure the distance in points. Points are in terms of measuring in scale, but if you play around with the input, you can get a feel of where the chart will land based upon your two inputs. The first argument indicates how far from the left side of your workbook the chart will be placed, and the second argument is how far from the top of the workbook. So with my designation of 10 for the left and 100 for the top, you can see my chart is slightly off the left-hand side of the sheet and landing below the table. Next, I need to specify what kind of chart I would like to use. This is done by accessing the chart type attribute of the worksheet. You can assign this the chart type that you want, which is what I am doing here with line. Finally, I state where the data is for this chart. The chart has a set source data function to which you can pass a range of cells. In order to correctly collect the cells of my table, I need to use the worksheet's range function. To that range function, I pass the bounds of my table, which you can see are A1 through B5. With that executed, you can see that our very basic chart is nicely displayed below the data. So it is actually fairly straightforward and only requires these three steps. First, add the chart to the worksheet, specifying where you would like the chart to be displayed. Second, state that this is going to be a line chart to visualize your data. Third, tell the chart object where the data is on your page that you would like to be visualized. This is done by utilizing the range function of the worksheet. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. Please leave a comment below letting me know what you liked and if it was helpful. Also, let me know what other features of Excel Wings, Excel, or Python you would like to see reviewed in future videos. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up as that really helps other people find this content. And please do hit that subscribe button so that you know when the next video drops.